So welcome people of God. It is my intention that this is a quick word, but I just don't know if it's gonna be quick, but I really need for you to hear what I'm getting ready to say. Um, I need you to hear me, especially for those of you that really are trying to walk through and get to your promised land. For those of you that are really like still trying to navigate into that place or for those of you thank you jesus that are like okay i think i'm there but i'm not quite sure i just need to i need to help you right and i need to talk to you about something that the lord just really exploded like like just really just exploded in my heart like help me jesus because I, I don't want to get emotional i just really want to teach you this so something that i've said before like i've given this testimony and i feel like this was like the start of my wilderness experience that led me here that led me to to now being on this platform to preaching and teaching the gospel of life goes well the goodness of god right and so i said it before and i'm going to say it again for the in order for me to tell you what i'm going to tell you in 2018 i was promoted in corporate america to senior manager right in the natural, I was not qualified for the promotion. Um, I have a high school diploma. I never went to college. I didn't have any certificates. And I didn't even have a lot of tenure with the company. Like, I hadn't been there. But I had really, really, really great performance. Let me tell you, even in that, right, the other day when, not the other day, but like at the beginning of the month, when God started to just really talk to me all the time about the word performance, it didn't dawn on me that at Verizon, we called we called an employee's work performance. And I was like, and it was like God was saying, do you see how I've cultivated you to drive performance and get good performance? Whew, hallelujah. And so I moved up and I got promoted so quickly because I always had the top of the line performance. as a, And it didn't start that way. It didn't start that way. But again, God had to like give me some deliverance, get me out of my own way because I was very miserable. I was I was like, you know, struggling financially, struggling with my weight. And anyway, so that's how I got noticed. And that's how I started getting promoted just because I had great performance. OK, and so for me, the top of the food chain was senior manager. That was the top of the food chain, right? And so when I got there, and I've said this to you before, on the day that I was packing up my cubby to move into my office, pain hit my body. I had never, even, even when I struggled and was at my highest weight, which was very high, <laughs> I had never, I had never had issues with my health. I had never had issues with my health. So this was new for me. This was new for me. And so initially I did go to, to the doctor. I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. And I remember um, the doctor saying, yeah, you know, I really don't know where this pain is coming from. Um, and I remember she said, I, you should go see a neurologist. And just, just that word scared me. And I was, and I've said this before, and I was walking out the door and I remember my foot was getting ready to go over like the threshold of the door. And I remember hearing the Lord say to me, this thing is spiritual. And I, and I'm telling you, I struggled with that because I just couldn't grasp that. I was like, no, it, it has to be, it, it's rooted in something. It has to be something. Tell me what it is. And it eventually, it eventually like, like just literally took over my entire body to the point that the enemy like started attacking my life. Um, but God, I'm still here. God delivered me. It was a supernatural deliverance, but God. But let me tell you about what that pain signified for me and that God really just, just brought it all the way home for me. Like God just literally brought it all the way home for me. So listen, we want, right? Because this is what the Lord said to me. I had the faith to believe to be promoted. I was asking God for a promotion. I was working for a promotion. I was believing for a promotion. I had the faith to receive promotion. But let me tell you what I did not have. I did not have the deliverance to walk in the promotion, to live in the promotion. And so when that promotion showed itself, everything that I was familiar with, primarily pain, I lived a life of pain, rejection, hurt, tr whatever you want to call it, trauma. That pain told that promotion, no, you don't. 
you may think you're here, but I'm here too, buddy. And one of us, because the Bible says you can't serve two masters. You're going to despise one and love the other. So that pain that I was so familiar with was like, uh-uh, where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. And that's what we see in our lives. We, we have the faith to believe for God to do something. We have the, and every single time we're in this space of, I got it. Yes, Lord, something, something, locate yourself, painful, hurtful, will like literally slap you upside the head. Like, what do you, what do you think you're doing? We will see something painful. Maybe your finances got hit. Maybe your body got hit. Maybe the very thing you're believing for got hit. And so the Lord said to me, the Lord started to speak to me just now, right? And the Lord started to tell me, because mm -mm -mm. listen, we are in a serious time, a serious time of transformation. We are in a serious time of alignment. We are in a serious time of shifting. And in this time of alignment, right, heaven and earth are talking. They are one. But if you, if you, child of God, are not walking in, in, in transformation, if you, you have to not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but you have to be transformed so that you will see what the good, pleasing, acceptable, perfect will of God is. The perfect will of God was for me to be 100% mind, body, soul, and spirit promoted. This was, you can't be promoted on the outside and you, you don't, you don't own promotion on the inside. You want God to restore a marriage and you're still so easily triggered. Everything is cold red. You can't talk to him. Cold red. She acting crazy. Cold red. God promised you wealth, but something popped up in your car acting crazy. Cold red. But you want to be in the promised land, but everything is a cold red. Let me show you even in the Bible. Listen, the children of Israel, right? God drove them out of Egypt. God himself did all the work, even to the point of getting the Egyptians to favorably dispose of their wealth and give it to the children of Israel, right? And so now here they are and they get this opportunity and I, to, to spy out the land. When we read an account of that, right, they, they jump right over the beauty and the magnificence of, of, of the promised land. They jump right over, yeah, 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 the fruit is big, whoop, whoop, whoop. But listen, let me, let me tell you what it really is over there, right? The city is fortified. The people are humongous. That's us. Yeah, 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 God, I know what you said about my marriage being restored, but whoop, whoop, whoop. Let me tell you this real quick. Yeah, God, I know what you told me about my money, but I, 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 let me tell you what's going on for real, for real. I know you said that I'm not stuck here, but yeah, I can't get approval. Like, like that's us. We're, th that's us <laughs> spying out the promised land. Like, oh, I know what you said. I, I hear Romania life goes well, but I, I, I. that's us, right? And so even, and this is what God showed me, right? This is what God showed me. Even with Joshua and Caleb, they were not delivered to talk the way they talked. They had different spirits though. God himself said, God said it. He said, Caleb and Joshua, they're different. They're different. He didn't say they're delivered. He said they're different. They have different spirits. They had different spirits. See, that was me. That was, I, I had that type of spirit that I could be like, oh, I got this. But I wasn't delivered to own it. I wasn't delivered. Let me tell you, Joshua's time of deliverance, for real, for real, was at the end of the book of Joshua when he was like, you know what? I'm really about fed up with y'all. <laughs> and as for me and my house, like, 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 literally, literally. And this is why God is telling him at the book of Joshua, don't be scared. Don't be discouraged. Because see, if he was really just that type of person, I wouldn't, God wouldn't even need to tell him that. God wouldn't even need to tell him that. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me. Maney, you got the faith to believe for the promised land, but you need the deliverance to own and walk and talk and breathe and live in the promised land. Because you'll be over here, you'll be over here believing for marriage and chaos will show up over here. Confusion will show up over there. Or you'll be believing for a good job and your car broke down. You understand what I'm saying? All these little things, all these little foxes will try to pop up and spoil your, your vines. God had to tell me, and so I decreed over myself. I thrive in promotion. 
You understand? I excel in promotion. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. I am in agreement with promotion. I am in alignment with promotion. I am transformed for the promotion. You can't be but wanting God to restore your marriage and you still jealous. You still needy. You can't be believing God for wealth when you yourself still so stingy. You count in pennies. And I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about me too. I, I, I literally was just telling somebody last night that God had me uncomfortably sewing. And I'm like, bro, you know, you know, I ain't got no job up in here and I haven't lost her. It, listen, but God is like, do you believe that I've mantled you for wealth or not? Do you believe I'm the type of God that's going to have you out here giving and now you don't receive back hundredfold? Do you believe I'm that God? Do you believe I'm the God that's going to drive y'all out of Egypt? open up a sea even in that hallelujah when moses announces the opening of the red sea hallelujah and okay thank you jesus i'm not going to get emotional even in exodus 14 moses says moses says stand firm and you will see the deliverance the deliverance the lord will bring you today god is like listen listen the promised land is promotion, but this, this move right here, this is deliverance because right in front of you, I'm going to destroy everything that has oppressed you. Every, listen, mm -mm 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 -mm. hallelujah. The, uh, I'm getting ready to break the back of oppression. I'm getting ready to break the back of slavery. I'm getting ready to break the back of everything that has had you under its thumb, sickness, disease, doubt, every single thing. This is what Moses says. He says, see the deliver, and they got to physically see it. They got to physically walk through a Red Sea. Like they got to physically see it. You understand what I'm saying? They got to, Jesus said to his disciples when he was explaining a parable and they were like, oh, you're talking too deep. We don't get it. He was like, I, listen, he was like, God bless the people that read it and don't have me to make it plain. When he's explaining a parable of the sower, he's like, all right, <laughs> all right, L let me just make it plain. Let me, let me just make it plain to you what I mean. But in that moment, right? So, so I'm telling you, right? <laughs> If you've been, if you feel like, okay, well, I got the faith, I'm believing, what happened? Are you delivered to be promoted? Are you, because I'm telling you, I have the faith to believe and God did it for me. But guess what? I, on the inside, Romania was not transformed. Romania was not delivered. And that wilderness that I walked through was the process of deliverance. And let me tell you, it was painful. It was not warfare. It was deliverance. It was deliverance. It was the fire that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in. But there was a fourth man in the fire with me. Whew. And it was painful. And it was after that time that God said to me, Now, Romania, you are a yielded vessel. It was painful. It was painful to get rid of all the victimization, all the woe is me, all the fear, all the doubt, all the I'm not good enough. It was painful. But during that time, I realized John 3 and 16 says, for God so loved the world, but, but that love became personal to me. Because when the enemy was in my ear saying, I'm going to get you, God was saying to me, never. Even when my physical body was wrapped in pain, in the natural, in the natural, when I'm down to my last and God says, so, and I'm like, God, and somebody turns around and says, God told me to give you this. God told me to bless you with this. Every time it looked like the enemy had me back in a corner, the super, I'm telling you what I went through. I had to be delivered out of believing that what was against me was bigger than who was for me. That's for somebody. I had to be delivered from knowing that what was against me, because what was against me used to be bigger than who was for me. 
that thing had to get purged out of me. That thing had to get purified out of me. And let me tell you something, because we don't talk that. We just, we just throw the prophecies out, pick it up, run with it, and you're not even delivered enough to have it. If you don't have it, maybe you need to ask God. Maybe the problem is not that I don't have the faith to believe it, but I'm not delivered to own it. Hallelujah. Nobody don't want to tell you that. But guess who going to tell you that? Me, the one who went through that fire. The one who God said, every time I promote you, <laughs> this old stuff want to pull you back. I had to be delivered to live in promotion. I had to be delivered to throw. Promotion is our portion. Promotion is your right. Promotion is your blood bought, blood redeemed right. Do you understand? Colossians 2 and 15 says that Jesus disarmed the principalities and powers. He made a public fool out of them by the cross. That is your portion. That is your portion, child of God. That is your portion. That's your portion. Your portion is to have the faith and then the deliverance, the deliverance to own it. To own it. God, I got the faith to believe it, but I am, am I delivered to have it? Why is this thing always without my reach? Because I feel like my faith on 100 is your deliverance. Is your deliver? Are you transformed? Heaven and earth are one. Are you one? Are you aligned? Because let me tell you right now, we already heard it. We already know the shift is here. It's transformation time. We're hearing it. Everybody's saying it. So now, now you need to get in alignment and say, okay, I got the faith to believe. Am I delivered to have it? Because if I'm not, Lord, I yield to you. Mind, body, soul, and spirit, I yield to you, Lord. I yield to promotion. 